reverse. Elway. On that bad ankle. Elway. All the way to the four yard line. Gerald Wilhite. Touchdown. Get up and we have this breaking news into our newsroom and it is sad news. Indeed, I'm sorry to report that Marty Schottenheimer has died at the age of 77, a legendary longtime National Football League coach who won 200 games during his career as the head coach in many different places. He had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in the year 2014. His family announced last week that he had been moved into hospice care. And again, the news that he has passed away peacefully surrounded by his family yesterday. I have a lengthy list of his career bio here that I can read pieces of to you. He played six seasons as a linebacker in the American Football League for Buffalo and Boston. He became the Browns head coach midway through the 1984 season. He was there for uh, several years. He recorded three 10 win seasons there. He went to Kansas City. He was the head coach there for 10 seasons, won 101 games, coached the Washington uh, football team in 2001 and then spent several years in San Diego where he was named the AP NFL head coach of the year in 2004. Again, he coached 21 seasons in the NFL and won 200 games. But the man, he, he was just a good guy, man. You understood that he cared about football and every player that played for him uh, loved playing for him. Told me he was tough, hard nosed, but they expected to win when Coach Schottenheimer was on the sideline. So just uh, just feel grateful to have, have had some time with him um, throughout my draft process. His career will be remembered a lot for some very heartbreaking losses. He was the coach in Cleveland for their yeah. legendary losses in the late 80s, the drive and the fumble, and then some very difficult losses, home playoff losses in Kansas City and then in San Diego. But uh, he was a man who was not defined by winning or losing in football games. He was a really genuinely good man who was loved by the entire football community. So, again, the sad news today at the age of 77, Marty Schottenheimer has died. We will... I've always believed that life is about taking one step at a time, and every time you take a step, you'd like to be able to take it forward, moving toward whatever it is your goals are. God gives you no assurances that you're going to get wherever it is that you aspire to be. If you go into that arena, there's only going to be one that comes out happy. We ended up being the unhappy one. Do I like it? Hell no, I don't like it, but that's what it is. And you know what? You learn how to deal with that kind of stuff because that's what life's all about. You're going to be a football player when you do it? Today is the best day of your life. Believe, believe it. He might be the finest quarterback produced in the last 10 years. He needs to be like, that's all I need. That's all I need. Fortunately for me, I didn't lose my life. I didn't lose my job. Football convinced me that life is a team game. There it is, girls. Eat your heart out. Look at that. Papa, those are some sexy glasses you got. Honey, was there. he a hunk? He was a hunk. How'd you take that photo? I stood on a chair <laughs> and jumped off the chair and dunked the basketball. <laughs> Win if you can, lose if you must, but find a way to get it done. There's a gleam, man. There's a gleam. Let's get the gleam, all right? Let's go. For 30 years as an NFL coach, Marty Schottenheimer chased after a world championship. When you look at that trophy, there's a reflection in that trophy. Ultimately, there's a gleam, men, that this is our goal. Perhaps he's remembered most for the ones that got away. But as head coach of the Browns, Chiefs, Redskins, and Chargers, he won over 200 games. At the end of the day, what you hope for is that you hope that you did your best. Strike. The only thing that matters is that six inches between your backbone and your breastbone. And let's just remember one thing as we leave here today. Charger's heart. You could tell whenever he was speaking to you that it was coming from the heart. And many speeches would come to tears. 
Even if there's no one in it, a house is a house. But it becomes a home. When you fill it with people you care about. He could give you a passionate speech on peanut butter, and he would well up. But I love the guy for it, because he conveyed to you a passion for football. Hey, let's go. This is football, man. This is why we're out here. San Diego was Schottenheimer's last stop in the NFL, but his legacy lives on through his son, Brian, the offensive coordinator for the Rams, and previously the Jets. And look at that, look where we are now. We gotta go get us a damn Super Bowl, period. That would be unbelievable. I'd love more than anything to give my father my Super Bowl right oh, yeah. now. Oh. That would mean more to me than anything. Yeah. And I'd make him take it. In the 2009 playoffs, Brian Schottenheimer's Jets faced his father's old team. The touchdown that put the Jets ahead and the fourth down conversion that sealed the win were both versions of Marty's favorite play. All right, let's get the first, baby. Let's go. We're going for it. The minute he said we're going for it, there was no question it was going to be 40 blast. Power was another way of saying it, but it was one of those plays that throughout the years, Ernest Biner, Marcus Allen, when they were in a gotta have it situation, they were all running that play. Power O ought to be a good play. Fourth down and under a yard to go. Sanchez gives for Jones, running right. He's got it! First down! That's a football game! That's New York Jet football! That's New York Jet football! <laughs> it was pretty special. We had not only won, but we won with a play that my dad just loved. Afterwards, I wanted to call him. And the first thing that came to my mind when he said hello was, this one's for you. Hey, Coach. How are you? How you doing, sir? Good Not bad for an old guy. <laughs> At the age of 67, Schottenheimer returned to coaching with the Virginia Destroyers of the ill-fated United Football League. When he took that job, I said, what in the hell are you doing? And he said, I, I, I miss it. I love teaching football. He brought together all these people who weren't getting paid, who Marty was paying out of his own pocket, even though he wasn't getting paid, and he won a championship. Great for him. Yes, sir. Thanks very much. Schottenheimer had found his gleam, but it was a far cry from the white whale he chased for 30 years in the NFL. Yeah, I think he was jinxed. Marty didn't tell Ernest Biner to fumble. Marty didn't tell Lynn Elliott to miss those field goals. Marty didn't tell the guy to stay up. Those sorts of things shouldn't all happen to the same guy, you know? I kind of look at it the other way, that you look at that regular season record and what he got out of teams that maybe weren't as talented. I mean, he's one of only five coaches to ever win 200 games. That's a major, major accomplishment, and you don't do that by luck. I think he's a great coach. I really do. Unfortunately, I don't think he's ever going to get his full due. I think the worst thing anybody can do is spend time worrying about something that they missed out on. Disappointment, sure, but I never let it consume me. I am totally turned around because I wasn't paying attention. I had it almost due west, baby. It's been a great journey. I'm very proud of what we were able to do in our coaching career. He touched and influenced so many people along the way. The people that have coached under him, Tony Dungy, myself. There's a piece of him that's in all of us. One play at a time. One play at a time. As good of a head coach he was, I think he's a better person. I've got a grandson. Yeah. I know he's an amazing father and grandfather. Go pop a kiss. I tell Brandon, my 12-year-old, if you ever have a question of who you are, you look at your papa because he is the most incredible man that I know. And I want you to grow up to be just like him. It's hard for even an old English major like me to put it into words. You only got so much time with all of them. And boy, you better cherish it and take advantage of it. These little kids that run around here, and their parents, 
That's the joy of a lifetime. The joy of a lifetime. <laughs>